Hi Sagittarius, this is going to be your reading from September the 1st to the 15th. I was like, what month is it? Where am I? <laughs> uh, if this resonates with you, please like, subscribe, share, comment. If it doesn't check your moon and rising because you could be in that energy as well. And just a reminder, these are general readings. So just take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, if you're not resonating at all, then you can check out some other tarot readers on here if you like. There's some amazing ones on here too. So they're all very good. I'm just going to fix my mic here. My mic clip broke today. I was kind of really upset about it, so I had to use a safety pin, so it's kind of wobbling around. Anyways, uh, back to the reading line. So, um, we are going to be starting with our Angel Guide Oracle deck, go into traditional tarot, and then move into uh, more Oracle cards as well. So, your Angel Guide Oracle card <laughs> this week was Vulnerability and Freedom. Angels are with you now to boost your confidence because they can see how harsh some of the experiences that you have endured have been. They want you to know that vulnerability gives you a chance to find strength that will bring you freedom. To move into that freedom, your angel guide is encouraging you to take some time today to connect to the parts of yourself that you love and admire and know that your sensitivity is not a curse but a gift. You are an emotionally connected soul and although recent waves of emotion may have overwhelmed you, these emotions are great reminders of how much you care about uh, living truthfully in a positive way. So take some time now to value the traits and quirks that make you unique in the person that uh, in the person you are that will allow the world to value them too. It isn't easy to put yourself out there, but you're being encouraged to do so now. Drop the shields barriers that, ha that you've put up because these walls are preventing the world from seeing your light. Your angel guide is reminding you that you don't have to protect yourself because God can do that for you. Whenever you feel vulnerable or unsafe, old habits or patterns uh, will want to kick in, but call in the light of God and surrender to your need to protect yourself. Again, that's to whatever God that you believe in here, not just a singular God, just whatever God you kind of you know, associate with. When you feel these angels' uh, permission to come in and help you, they will. They will guide you towards freedom, joy, and your highest good. All right. Pull some traditional tarot and see what we got, Sagittarius. Sorry, one fell. messages coming out right away but let me just feel what the energy is around you right now for Sag please okay weird message to pick up stirring the pot maybe some of you are cooking or something like that so I just saw like stirring something or, or stirring the pot stirring the pot maybe again I don't know what that message is maybe some of you Learn more how this energy feels for Sag right now. It feels like right now you're kind of feeling like, um, it's funny because duality is such a, a big feeling in this reading right now, but it is feeling like you were kind of, uh, feeling you kind of sacrificed one part of yourself um, in lieu for something else, or in lieu for, um, seems like more of like stability or kind of security here, but then there's like a part of yourself that kind of feels a little bit missing, or maybe that you maybe made an error in judgment at where you're at now. Um, maybe you're kind of looking back and feeling like you should have done things differently, um, here, but we have the Queen of Pentacles popping out, and, uh, we also have the Six of Wands popping out, so there's going to be a victory in our kind of stability or in our finances, um, the Queen of Pentacles is someone that kind of um, nurtures her money. Um, you know, again, maybe this is like you've been kind of saving, you've been putting in investments, you've been kind of um, uh, whatever it is, focusing kind of on the coin in general here, as you see the Queen of Pentacles is focusing so much. There's a major victory in that way for you here. 
but it's interesting because I'm feeling the duality of it. I'm feeling like the other side of the coin here where it's just like, yes, I focus so much on that that I feel like I missed out on something um, of, of totally other things here. And, and so now it's this kind of um, energy where you're just like, did I make an error in judgment that putting so much of my energy into that foundation? Because I feel like some other parts might be kind of uh, lacking and maybe this is where this kind of vulnerability is coming in for me here. Because we do have the Nine of Swords, which is coming out sideways. And when it comes out sideways um, in these readings, it kind of represents, um, it could go either way. So maybe you're having some sleepless nights, or your sleepless nights are going to be kind of cleared um, through this soon. Yeah, it feels like we're almost kind of now coming out of the choice um, here, because we do have the Two of Swords in the reversed. Um, we do have... Um, this energy of a crossroads, but coming out of the crossroads here, kind of knowing what to do, knowing what direction to go. Um, but again, we're knowing this direction to go now, but again, we're still having sleepless nights. Again, there's something feeling like there's something is missing here, or again, with the judgment card in reverse, that we made an error in judgment on something. It has something to do with maybe our finances or focusing um, a lot of our finances or something that we want to build here. It's interesting because there is still a win here, but you are having that kind of um, point of yourself where you're just being like, you know, did I make the right choice? And, um, focusing this on following that. We have the high priestess in reverse here, which means our intuition might be blocked right now. So maybe this is where this kind of conversation um, is coming in or these questions are in, coming in for you here. It feels like everything was supposed to be kind of in divine timing. So just trust that and trust that every day you wake up, you kind of have a choice here that, you know, you can wake up tomorrow and you can pr uh, pursue something else um, if you kind of want to that, you know, this kind of focusing on the finances just doesn't have to kind of always be um, a forever thing. You know, we're not kind of stuck in this now. We can make changes if we want to. And that's what's with this full card in reverse that we're feeling like. We're feeling like um, we can't have um, freedom here or feel like... Um, I don't know, it's feeling like getting that kind of little bit of stuck energy or feeling like, you know, we won't have this kind of um, freedom to start a new cycle or kind of start a new chapter here with this kind of fool card in reverse. It feels like I want to birth something new, but I'm kind of scared to here. There's a little bit of fear involved with it. We're not trusting the kind of your gut when your gut is telling you what the next kind of step to do here. Because it's like, yes, I've been focusing so much on this. Yeah, maybe so much on the financial side. I feel like I can't change that now, or like I made that choice, and that choice is kind of forever um, in a way. You can have this victory, and then you can have it and focus on something else too, and then be victorious in there too. And I think this is also where this kind of error and judgment is kind of um, popping in here, because it almost feels like um, you're not trusting yourself enough. You're not trusting that you know kind of where to go. Um, and you're not trusting that you can have kind of more in this life other than this kind of financial structure. Maybe you're feeling tied down right now with a certain job that you are doing, but just know that you are the manifester here. We have the magician coming up. The magician is a great sign that you have the ability to manifest anything that you want right now. So if there is something that's different from what you've kind of been working on, um, maybe for the past months, maybe for the past years, um, you can kind of manifest something new. So kind of figure out what maybe is kind of missing here or connecting to yourself. Um, speak to that and see what you can kind of manifest. See what you can kind of bring in for yourself. Because they are saying that you have all the tools right now to do that. Yes, definitely new things coming in the way for you. We have the Three of Wands here and we have the Ace of Wands. New beginning, a new passionate beginning, a new creative beginning. Something new creative is kind of on the way for you here or something that you're kind of really passionate about. This could be a relationship. This could also be a job that's on the way for you. The Three of Wands is telling you, again, there is more things on the way. And the thing with the Three of Wands is we don't see it on the horizon, but we just kind of know it's coming towards us. You know, we know that kind of these new opportunities or something um, new and exciting is here for us, but we got to be the ones to energetically be like, well, I'm manifesting that in. You know, we got to be the ones that are really can kind of step up and be vulnerable, you know, and kind of really feel like I'm ready for something new. I'm ready to to, to change something here. I'm ready to maybe try a different path. I'm ready to explore some things. And that's why I think this also freedom card is coming out for you here. This vulnerability and freedom. Because it takes a lot of guts to kind of 
um, pave a new path or be open to kind of something new here. Because again, I see you kind of focusing so much on the kind of stability and um, that kind of coin stability here. And I appreciate that and I value that. But again, there's something else that wants to be created here or birth here. Because right now with this page of wands, it's just feeling like you're not really enthusiastic about life. Or you're not ex enthusiastic about maybe where you're going or enthusiastic about, um, you know, taking adventures. You're just kind of not having that, that, that fire energy back. Um, Sag, you're maybe not feeling like yourself. Um, feeling like you're doing that, what you kind of want to do here. Yeah, definitely new hopes, new wishes, I think, coming out for you. you some of you might be wanting to train, change careers or something like that. We do have the death card coming in reverse, which, again, we're just seeing this kind of same um, cycle happening over and over for us, where we're just like, ah, it still feels like maybe something is missing, or we're still feeling like, um, you know, nothing's kind of changing here. And I feel like this kind of death card is happening here because you can't um, allow this kind of one part of yourself to kind of end. You know, one chapter to kind of close for yourself here. And usually the death card comes in reverse with the full card coming in reverse. Um, because you can't have a death, you know, if there's not a death, there's not a new beginning for you here. And it doesn't say that something has to completely die, but it feels like there's something else, again, like I was saying before, that wants to be birthed here. Um, something new that wants to be brought in for you, new hopes, new dreams, with the star card coming out here as well. I feel like we are just evolving, Sag, we are just kind of changing. Moving out of this kind of rut energy, or moving um, out of this energy of kind of sacrificing ourselves just for kind of this coin, or sacrificing ourselves because we just um, feel like money is kind of going to bring us this happiness in a way. And you're kind of having the vulnerability to do that now. Knight of Wands. Yeah, this new kind of passionate, fiery star for you here. Maybe for some of you, this is going to be a new lover or a new romantic person coming in here as well. Um, we have Aquarius, we have Scorpio on the board. So it could be Aquarius or Scorpio. But Knight of Wands, it could also represent you because you are the fire sign. You are Sagittarius. Um, Leo could represent um, also Aries here as well. It could be a new kind of lover or someone that kind of is coming in passionately into your life here. It's just interesting though because afterwards we're having this kind of person coming in or this kind of new passion coming in for us here, but we're having a bit of weak boundaries involved with it. Now this person, this Knight of Wands, isn't kind of in the reverse. Here, Sag, so I'm not kind of nervous that they're kind of maybe playing the field here, but it's almost like we're not kind of feeling, um, we're not really standing up for ourselves, or we're not really kind of valuing ourselves here with this kind of uh, seven of wands in reverse and with this kind of nine of pentacles here. Like, we're not setting up for our own boundaries, we're not standing up for kind of our own talents, um, we're not only standing up for our own values here. So maybe this is someone coming in creatively that really wants to work with you or collaborate with you here. Or again, like I said before, this is a new lover, but we're kind of feeling like we're not um, we're not good enough for that, or we're not kind of valuing ourselves enough for this kind of project or this kind of new person here. Again, just stick into your um, self here, stick into your vulnerability, trust yourself that you kind of can do something, that this is kind of being brought towards you for something new. Because you're definitely having like a new beginning here and a fresh start. We have the Hermit card here. We have the Nine of Wands popping out here as well. Hermit could represent a Virgo um, energy here. So maybe a Virgo is giving you advice. Or this is just saying you're starting to trust yourself more. Trust um, where you're kind of being guided. This kind of alone time, this inner inspection. Um, really kind of following your own light here is this kind of message that I'm getting with these two cards. Spectrum sometimes represent, again, like alone time, isolation. Um, 
but I, I again this trust is coming from that like trust I'm just feeling what I'm feeling it's like trust where you're being guided is the message that I'm kind of getting here and this is why maybe this uh, harmony is coming out here because you see the light is kind of guiding them and sometimes this can be kind of alone time but this can be just like spending some time or going kind of inward in ourself here but I get this kind of guiding light energy from this hermit so trusting this kind of guiding light maybe this guiding light is yourself here you know trusting yourself to kind of lead the way so it seems like right now in in this energy at least there's this kind of um, draining energy this over exhaustion here overworked kind of energy when it's followed by the kind of eight of swords like this it's kind of like mentally overworked overthinking this idea that we were feeling like we're stuck there's no other options the devil card in reverse is saying we're hey we're kind of removing the stuff that is keeping us tied down whether this is fear whether this is uh, you know vices whether this is um, overspending whether this is um, you know uh, toxic people it seems like you're moving up in your energy here of starting to um, trust yourself more and again believe in yourself here it's like whatever these kind of negative thoughts that we were saying maybe that we're too old um, you know, we can't start something new here, um, you know, uh, maybe something isn't for us, all these kind of negative thoughts that are, uh, thoughts that are stopping us from kind of um, doing what we want or kind of having our most fulfilling or happiness life or setting new goals here or having new hopes is going to be kind of washed away, it feels like, um, in these two weeks. And I think that's kind of all with you being like, no, I trust that maybe it's time for me to do something new. Like, I trust this is something that I... I really want for myself here you know I trust this is kind of a hope I trust this is a goal for me I'm not gonna let myself stop myself anymore even though it might feel scary even though it might feel like um, you know it's being very vulnerable like opening myself up here I'm going to kind of do that maybe some of you are starting something new a new career that's maybe more online or a career that is something that's like more showing more of yourself to kind of the world here because again it's like that that vulnerable kind of artistry that's that's popping out here for you um sag yeah it just feels like again I, I, we have the queen of wands kind of ending out the reading here the queen of wands is someone that is like a master of their creativity you know they're a master of their talents they know that they have this kind of strong talent they know that they have this passion this kind of drive there's someone who is like so confident there's someone that is so um you know sure of themselves here as well and i feel like that's kind of where you are leading um in this reading here even if that takes more than two weeks i think this is kind of the new start um to do something a little bit more creative and do something that you actually kind of want to do i love that for you Sag. Just gonna pull some oracle cards here just to finish out your reading. Oh, second, second fire sign to get this sign, uh, get this card today. So, starseed oracle, you got what's the bullet? Stop. Embrace winter, great cosmic bloom. Everything and nothing exists in the void. It's where all life begins and ends. It's the winter and the womb. The fertile darkness where all things originate and all seeds grow. Comforting and intimidating. Freeing and daunting. It can feel both overwhelming, small, and huge. The void is where faith lies. This message of the void is to surrender to the unknown. To allow the fertile darkness of nothingness to nourish the new seeds growing within you. This new seed seem like this Ace of Wands, right? The Three of Wands, this, these new hopes, these new dreams. Regra uh, regardless of whether you know what they'll uh, one day become, you're being called to surrender to the mystery of what's next, to rest and to allow the winter of your life to do the work for you, to hand over your control and trust that just because you can't see what's happening beneath the surface doesn't mean things are not at work. The greatest weaving happens when we find a way to surrender and trust our life is being knitted for us right beneath the surface in ways known and, unknown and unknowable. Now is the time to cultivate faith and allow deep, deep rest. The void often surfaces at the end of a chapter of a life, uh, end of a chapter or a life phase. 
when we're called to let go of all that we know and identify with. This kind of feels like with this Queen of Pentacles energy um, here at the top here, what we've kind of been identifying with so far in our life. Um, as if you should be doing something. However, when this card appears, it's just a sign that the most productive thing you can do is relinquish control and surrender to the changing mysteries of life. How are you being called to surrender to the unknown mysteries of your life? And we also got Happy Family card popping out here as well. Which is a nice card to have. Alright. Happy Family. Closeness, fun, caring. The rainbow over the Happy Family pertains to a time of joy and celebration. Close connections are available, so don't overlook the fun and uh, frivolity that a friend or family member uh, experience can bring. The value that you find in truly loving relative or friend being in a high vibration to your life force. You may be distracted or busy, but remember to put this in your life in the forefront of your priorities. If you are single, finding this card in your spread could indicate a potential meeting or perhaps relationship with someone who already has children from a previous marriage. This ready-made family might bring some challenges, but it could be, the desti it could be your destiny in this lifetime. This card also implies it signifies a celebration coming up, such as a wedding, anniversary, or birthday party. So enjoy. All right, Sag. This was your end of the month reading. No, first of the month reading. There we go. Why am I so bad at remembering what reading it is? It's September 1st. Your first month reading. I hope that helps. 